<sighs> your boy's back and today we're gonna be talking about how to break to your thousand plays on Spotify. We all know Spotify has the thing that it just doesn't show you how many plays a song has until it's broken through a thousand plays. And if you ask any artist the first time they broke through a thousand plays, it almost felt like a great push of motivation and validation to do it again, to make more music. And that's the kind of motivation we want. We want that fire to be sparked. And if you got that fire inside of you, you know, I feel great for you. I'm really happy for you. Sometimes a lot of us artists are struggling. We think this is what we really want to do, but it just, maybe it's not for us. Breaking through a thousand plays can be one of those signs that maybe we just need to keep going. Nevertheless, let's get into the meat and potatoes of how it can be done. I want to start with what I think is the most important thing, and it's free. It's talking to your friends and family. And I don't mean you just release your song, you put it on your story. Because to be honest, nobody really looks at your story anymore. Unless it's something that catches your eye immediately, your friends have already skipped past it. You tell your friends that you just released a new song and you show it to them personally, one by one, and you hear them out, hear their opinions, hear what they like about it. Most likely 99.99% .99 of the time, they're just gonna hype you out. So you don't even have to be afraid they're gonna be critical. You can tell your friends to follow you on your Spotify page. This means that the next time you release a song, it comes into their release radar if you pitch on Spotify, which is a whole thing. I hope by now you know how to pitch on Spotify. If you don't, um, just search it up. I don't have a video on that, but to be honest, it's very simple. You see, I was not motivated to actually tell my friends that I was releasing music until I had something that felt worthy of sharing to them, like an achievement. When I made the song Pseudo, I had sent it to the Spin and Talent Pool. The sole fact that I got onto the st Spin and Talent Pool was hype enough for me to say, okay, listen, friends, I just got onto the Spin and Talent Pool. And it's like I was searching for that validation. It didn't work. Yeah, on, on SoundCloud, the song got almost, I believe, like 900 something plays, which for me at the time was insane. But that conversion rate to people actually saving that song on Spotify, not really. Because guess what? It's not heartfelt to tell someone, look what I've achieved. Instead, it's it's more heartfelt to say, I gotta be honest with you, I, I just started this new thing, I'm making music. I, I'd like to hear what, what you think about it. Or, you know, if it's a close friend, you're probably not talking like that. You're probably saying something along the lines of, dude, I just, I just started making music and you need to check this shit out because I think it's amazing and I'm gonna be touring the world soon. You know, that's that's an emotional connection. Anyway, I'm fucking ranting away. Let's get into some real shit. You may have now 50 plays on your song. You wanna get a thousand. Spotify curators, I'm talking playlisters. How do you get their attention? I'm gonna recommend this website called Submit Hub. It costs money. Say you invest 20 pounds, $25 into this website. If you're willing to do that, you can now submit your songs to around about 20 curators. And these curators are curators that work at record labels, magazines. I mean, look, I'm not promoting anything for Submit Hub, but there are some big names on here. And they will listen to your song, give it critical feedback, and potentially put it on their playlists. I've been in contact with this guy. He's got a playlist with 13,000 likes. That is 13,000 people that have clicked onto that playlist and pressed like. I sent them a song. He didn't really like it. He gave me a lot of critical feedback. But he said, feel free to send me more because I like your energy. I sent him another song. He gave me more feedback and he said, but this is kind of cool. I'm going to add it onto my playlist. Now I'm getting about 100 plays a day just from that playlist. The first song that I ever broke through a thousand plays on Spotify releasing myself, so no promotion support from a record label, was a song called Big Shot. Now I'm not sure how much of it is the way that I felt about the song, but I think it's a lot. You see, when I make music, I make music emotionally. And somehow, most of the time when I release the song, that emotion is no longer properly attached to the song anymore. But with Big Shot, that connection has maintained. I think for that reason, I properly pushed this song to all my friends. I said, yo, this is this is like my favorite song of all time. This is the song that, that I put my heart and soul into. And they agreed, you know, th all my friends have been playing this song on repeat and it's on their personal playlists only because I love it so much. When the song first came out in 2020, it broke through a thousand plays within about less than a month. That to me was bonkers. It gave me an insight that 
maybe this is what I want to eventually do full time. Obviously, a thousand plays means nothing in the grander scheme of things. Like, you're not going to be able to afford a bottle of Coke with a thousand plays. But growth in the music industry can be exponential if you believe in yourself. And if you work hard enough to talk the walk, you know? Man, I was so in love with this song, Big Shot. I put so much effort in, into the cover art. I learned how to use Photoshop properly just to make that cover art. Hell, I designed a logo for myself because I, I thought, okay, I need a brand now. I need to push this song. And I even re-released it in an album surrounding it. I created an intro to that song. I cared about it. I got in contact with a curator who himself put it in his own playlist. And somehow that spiraled into people looking at that playlist, putting it into their own playlist. It was somehow the energy was transferred that I loved it. I cared about it. And I know you care about your music. You just have to tell people that you do. When I've worked with record labels, breaking through a thousand plays is a different story because it's almost like it's autopilot. You give them a percentage of your revenue, even though you're not making anything right now, in order for them to take care of your promotion. And they have a team, they know how to do it. It's their job, you know? For you, however, you, you were never taught how to do promotion. It's a real thing and it's, it's like anything with music, it takes time to learn. Start with Submit Hub. If you have some more money to spend, I recommend getting into Facebook advertisements, making a really interesting short video, putting some text onto it, stream this song now, putting that on Facebook ads, and Facebook will send it to tens, potentially hundreds of thousands of Instagram accounts, and it will say sponsored video or sponsored just in general, and, and, and there'll be a link they can click that will bring them straight to your Spotify. And I also did this with Big Shot. It's difficult to understand how Facebook advertisements work. Now, if all of that is not for you and you really just kind of wanted to watch this video to get some inspiration to, to push your song, I want you to put your new song into the comments of this video and I will personally click on it and give you feedback. And if this video blows up, you'll have a bunch of people checking out your music. I want everyone on this video to click on each other's links, enjoy each other's music, give each other some positive feedback. So like I said, share your link down below to your new track that may be on SoundCloud, that may be already released on Spotify. I'm gonna go ahead and join some rain and my late fucking night coffee, which is probably a mistake. I've already had three coffees today and a Red Bull. Peace.